Hey everybody, my name is Kayla and today I've got another book haul. So let's get started. So I decided to do this book haul outside because there's a lot of books and it's easier than trying to hold them all on that and I wound up standing up so that I can try to hold all of these books. I don't know how that's going to work out. It is really hot out here, oh my gosh. Um, so I'm going to not really talk about these books that much because I think I have over 40 here so I don't have time to talk about them all unless you want to watch like an hour long video. So I'd, let's get started so that this isn't an hour long video. The first book I'm showing you is from the Dollar Book Exchange which is this really cool bookstore that's only open for the first weekend of every month and they have every book is a dollar and then they have like this ten dollar bag that you fill. It's a ten dollar bag that you can fill with as many books as you want in this one area and it's really cool it's like a treasure hunt to find the right books and it is, was really fun but it's dangerous <laughs> to get because I ended up spending a good amount of money and getting a lot of books so yeah but I mean a dollar book and then ten dollars for I got 28 books in my bag so but still dangerous and then I have some books I got from Edward McKay's but most of the books are from the dollar book exchange so let's get started so that I can show you these books so the first book I'm going to show you I'm just grabbing there's literally a pile right here and my camera's actually balanced on it, so I'm just going to start showing you books. The first one is Go Ask Alice by Anonymous. This was in the bag, and it kind of has a tear in it, but I didn't notice that when I was looking at it. And it's in the old version, like, it's not the new version, like a square. It has really cool feeling pages, but I read Lucy in the Sky and really enjoyed it and thought I'd pick that one up if it was super cheap. Next two books I got are uh, Voyage on the Great Titanic Across the Wide and Lonesome and Prairie, Dear America books. Um... I loved this one. I read this one several times when I was a kid, and it was one of my favorite books. I've never read this one, but I really loved the Dear America books. I love um, historical fiction, and these were my favorite, and so now I can read them, and now I have one I haven't read, and one that I absolutely loved. Um, next two books I got were The Lightning Thief and The Last Olympian by Rick Riordan. Uh, these are the only two I didn't own. I didn't own this because I read it on the Kindle, and I didn't own this because I hadn't read the one before this yet. But now I own them, so I can push myself to read the last two in the series. So then I grabbed, okay, what book should, this book. The Penderwicks by Janine Birdsell. Sorry if I'm rushing a little bit. I'm trying not to talk too fast, but still rush, if that makes any sense. This book, um, a lot of people have told me to read. It was actually in a book club that I was in that I just didn't get a chance to read, and so it looks really interesting. And I found out my mom read this to me when I was a baby, so that's really cool. Okay, this is gonna fall already. <laughs> uh, the next book I bought was The Carrie Diaries by Candace Bushnell. I've not watched the series. I do know that it's like before Sex and the City, the lady before she was in Sex and the City or something like that. But it looks like an interesting contemporary read and I might enjoy it. Sorry if the sun's like making it weird lighting. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Next book I got was What Happens to Serenity by P.G. P. G. Sarah Collins. Um, this looks like a dystopian ebook. book I don't know much about it, but it looked interesting. It does have the library stuff in it, but it was like, I got 28 books for $10. Not like, it was super expensive. Next I got I Am Number 4 by Pitekius Lore. I've never read this, never watched the movie, and it just looks interesting, and I've wanted to read it, I just haven't found it anywhere. It does have a tear at the bottom in the cover jacket, and it's not, it's kind of loosey-goosey, but I am excited to be reading that finally. Uh, next book I got is Letters from a Slave Girl, the story of Harriet Jacobs by Mary E. Loins. I'm excited to read this, another historical fiction. I really enjoy historical fiction, and so now I have several that I can read and get into that. Uh, the next book I got was Aragon by Christopher Polini. I've never read this. I have watched part of the movie, and so I think I know like the spoilers of it or whatever, but I am interested to read it. And look, it's got the cool picture thing inside. I wish it was in the movie cover, but I can still read it. The reading is the important part. Uh, the next book I got was Wicked by Gregory Maguire, The Life and Times of the Wicked Witch of the West. I've never read the original Wizard of Oz. I loved the movie as a kid, and I do want to read it. My sister owns it, so I can read it. Um, but now I have this, and I've wanted to read this for a while. I really want to go see the play whenever I go back to New York, and so now I can read this and then go watch the play whenever that happens. It will happen, but I don't know. Okay, there we go. Uh, next book I got was Ink Heart by Cornelia Funk. I actually went to a bookstore today that, for McKay's books that I'll show you at the end of the book haul, I, um, it was where I got it today, and I thought this was a weird copy as it has some, like, the cover underneath, and it is longer than most books like this way 
but I looked and they had Ink Spell and Ink Death for in the same copy, so I guess it's just how it's made. I didn't buy those. I was going to, but they were five dollars each, and I know they're always there, and so I just thought I'd wait and get it some other time because I had books I've never read that I wanted to read. <sighs> Sorry, my voice sounded funny. I don't know what that was. Um, the next book I got was a book by an author that I wanted to read any of her books for a while because like super popular and I got Impulse by Ellen Hopkins I don't know if this is a good book to start with her but they had a hardcover for a dollar they had all her other books too but all of them are a dollar as well and this is hardcover so I got this one and it looked interesting um the, she's got it in like lyrics or like poems and so I'm not sure I don't know what you call that lines I don't but I'm not sure if I'm gonna enjoy reading that but I do want to give it a chance because I've never had a chance to read them okay the next book I got is The Christopher Killer by Aileen Ferguson. Um, this is another book that I don't know much about. I accidentally grabbed it and it looked really good. It's about, it's a, psych it's a psychological thriller and it just looks interesting and terrifying, so that's good. Oh, the next book I'm at is being balanced by this, so I'm going to move that there. There we go. Oh no, okay. Sorry, camera being moved everywhere. Um, the next two books I got was Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire by J.K. Rowling and Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix by J.K. Rowling. I have already read all of these. I just don't own them because I did own them all and hardcover, really nice. But then we moved into an RV and that's a story for another time. I should do a video telling that story. That'd be kind of cool. But we moved into an RV and had to get rid of most of the books. But this is different size. My Order of Goblet of Fire is smaller than my other one so and it's kind of gross but I have them now so that's cool put that over there um now I'm gonna move this back actually sorry this is kind of all over the place video if you haven't noticed um next book I'm gonna put that there next book I got was series of unfortunate events books is second the reptile room by lemony snicket I've read all of these as well and had them all but then again we moved into an RV I got a Kindle so I could have all my books but I just had to get rid of that one. I really should tell that story at some point in my life. It will happen, probably. <laughs> Next book I have is The Babysitter and Halloween Night by R.L. Stein. I've only read Party Games by him, and I did really enjoy it. It was interesting, uh, but I have I do want to pick up some more of his books, and so I have both of these in like the traditional paperback, which I like the traditional paperback. And so now I can read it, and I'm not sure if these are like for younger kids or they're for, I don't know. But they do look interesting, and so whenever I'm in the mood for, like, being terrified, I can pick those up. The next book I got was Number of the Stars by Lewis Lowry. I've only read The Giver by him, but I really enjoyed it, and I want to read the rest. I think it's a series, The Giver is... I didn't know this until I, like, looked it up or something, but this does look like a really cute read. I'm going to put it over there. Okay, the next two books I got... Wow, this is really hot. It was sitting in the sun. Ha! Next two books I got was Specials and Extras by Scott Westerfields. So I finish my Ugly series. Um, I've not read this one yet. I've read Uglies and Pretties. Uglies I read a long time ago, and the Pretties I read, I think, in February, and I just haven't found these anywhere, but now I own them. So awesome. This is, like, an extra. I think it's a trilogy, and this is, like, five, yeah, it's a few years in the future, but now I can read the rest of the series. That's awesome. Let me not put that in the sun, because that got really hot really fast. Um, next book I got is 1984 by George Orwell. I'm actually reading this for school right now. I'm re I've been really excited to read it, especially after I read Something Real by Heather Demetrius. She talked a lot about this in that book, and it just made me want to read it and kind of understand what she was talking about and everything. Um, actually, I've never talked about this either, but I am homeschooled. I've been homeschooled my whole life. I've never even stepped foot into a school. Random, but, um, and so I never talked about that, I don't think. I think it's in my about page, maybe. But, I am homeschooled, and I love being homeschooled. I think it gives me a lot of room to, like, pick my own literature and read, and it's inspired me to write, and I really love that I am homeschooled, but I've never talked about that, so now you know. <laughs> but I am, it is really freaky so far. I'm not that far, but it is really freaky. Um, the next book I have is The Phantom Tollbooth by Nor Norton Juster. Uh, this I did read for school and then watched the movie, and I just don't own it, probably because when we moved in the review, we got rid of it, but I did really like it and I like all the illustrations in it and I'm just excited to pick it up again. Okay, so the next book, actually, I was filming this earlier and it was super long and it's going to be super long now that I'm talking about it, but it was super long and so I was showing this book and I thought it was a play when I was showing it and I was like, oh wait, it's not a play, but I read The Crucible, it was a play, probably know what The Crucible is, but it's a play and I really enjoyed it, not really the book itself because I did enjoy the book, but it ends terribly and confusing, but um, I like reading about the 
Salem Witch Trials. I have I've read The Witch of Blackburn Pond and I really enjoyed it and so I was excited to read The Crucible and I've enjoyed reading plays. I have all of um oh my gosh my mind's going like I have some more plays that I'm hoping to read and I thought this was a play when I picked it up. I don't know why but it's not a play but I have a lot more classics now which I'm excited about because I really do enjoy reading classics and so now I have Beowulf by Stanley B. Greenfield so I can read that whenever I have a chance. I have so many books to read. Um, next book I got is another classic, and it's Swiss Family Robinson by Joanne David Weiss. I'm excited to read this, and it's such a pretty copy. It's got, like, the rifled, rifled, ruffle pages and stuff, so it's awesome. Okay. Ugh. Okay, I'm getting The next four books I got were The Host by Stephanie Meyer, Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer, New Moon by Stephanie Meyer, and The Eclipse by Stephanie Meyer. I did not get Twilight, though, because I didn't have it. But I have already read these as well, and I just don't own a copy of them. I think I read some of these on the Kindle, and then the host, it was I had it hardcover, and it's just so big, even as a paperback. Like, okay, I'll move these. Yeah, okay. Like, I mean, Breaking Dawn's still pretty big, but it's much bigger. It's just that annoying, so I got rid of it and got a paperback version now so making yay. a pile i feel like this is gonna end up falling on me okay the next book i have is corduroy by Ch don treeman this is my it's like a weird copy because it's like this but then you open it and it's like that but i found this and this is my childhood favorite book and i didn't own a copy and you have to own a copy of your childhood favorite book so now i do own a copy so yay the next two, okay, I keep having to reach over the camera. Next two books I have is The Second Summer of the Sisterhood and Girls in Pants, The Third Summer of the Sisterhood by Anne Bashears. Bashears? I don't know. I'm bad at names. Um, I've read all these as well, but they were on the Kindle, and I just want to own them, and they're so pretty. And so now I own all but the first, and I think there's a fourth. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a fourth. Now, let me grab all the Edward McKay books, which is my local used bookstore. Okay, some of these books I've heard of and wanted to own, and some of these books I have n Most of these books I've heard of, people talk. These are these are mostly popular books. So let's get started, because time's running out. So the first book I have is Etiquette and Espionage by Gail K Carriger. I've heard a lot of people talk about this, and it looks interesting. I'm getting... So I'm excited to read this, and I like the cover. It's very interesting. I'm just going to pile it there. The next book I got is The Cellar by Natasha Preston. Apparently this was a Wattapad book first. I'm unsure about this one because it looks really creepy, like a psychological thriller. And I like psychological thrillers, but this looks really creepy. I looked it up on Goodreads first and read some reviews just to make sure that it's not, um, ow, um... Like, the way it sounds, it sounds like it could be really bad or really interesting, and so I just wanted to make sure that it doesn't have a lot of stuff that would make me uncomfortable in it, and it does look interesting, and so I'm unsure about that one. I don't know if I'm actually gonna... I don't know what's gonna happen with that one, but it does look interesting if it doesn't have stuff in it. So, I'm, like, totally talking wrong. Anyways, the next book I have is All the Truth That's in Me by Julie Berry. This is another, like, psychological thriller that looks really freaky but interesting, so... I talked a lot about that one, so I have to, like, rush through these. The next I have is The Nightmare Affair by Mindy Ernett. This has been on Book Outlet forever, and lots of people talk about it, and now I own a copy of it. I know that's about, like, a girl who is, like, a nightmare, literally. She's a nightmare. Ha, ha. Get it? You might not get it. I don't even. Next, I got Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I read Leon Light by Rainbow Rowell and really, really enjoyed it, and this one's, like, most people's favorite, so I'm excited to read it. So now I have it, so I can read it. Okay, the last book I have is Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. It's a floppy book. I love floppy books. Um, but I like Lauren Oliver, and so now I have this. I'm probably going to read this and Vanishing Girls by her really soon. But right now I'm finishing P.S. I Still Love You, which, by the way, is awesome. But on to that later. Um, so, uh, these are my books. I don't think I'm going to try to hold them. But here's a clip of when I tried to hold. I did a video of just my uh, dollar book exchange books and tried to hold them. So here's a video of me trying to hold them there. <laughs>